How y'all doing today, family? This is Blue No Lie. I'm in the building. Thank you so much for coming through. Let's get into the energy around Young Pharaoh. Yeah. Why? Y'all were asking about this reading over and over again. So I'm in the building to get it done. Let's get into this energy, guys. Mm. Why? Thank you so much for coming through. I appreciate you. Of course, this is your girl, Chris Blue Nola Tarot with another reading on Young Pharaoh. A YouTuber, I think he is an artist. He had a situation that broke out between himself, his baby's mother. The other day it was all captured on, um, she taped it, of course, um, and it went viral all over social media. And so uh, people were asking about doing a reading on him. So I did ask for suggestions. The top three people that were suggested was Young Pharaoh, the baby in the situation with his comments that he made about the LGBT community or people with HIV. Uh, and then also see Moan Biles. What's going on with her? What's the energy around her? You guys also had a lot of questions about YouTube couples. I want to just say I appreciate all of your suggestions and feedback. But this channel is really a celebrity based tarot reading channel. So I don't want to get into doing a whole bunch of readings on people that are on YouTube. I love YouTube. I just don't want to get into all of that, right? So um, again, we're going to do Young Pharaoh today and some other people. But and usually when I do a YouTuber, they're always connected with a celebrity. So for example, when I did the Tasha K reading, she's connected to Cardi B. Um, now, um, Sam, Sam was Kevin Samuels. We did him because he's a polarizing figure. Uh, there's been a lot of chaos around him. This you know, things for him are it, it, it's turning into something, manifesting into something really negative. So we did that. But I just wanted to just say that I do love your suggestions, but please just know that I will not be doing a lot of content on YouTubers on this particular platform. All right. So let's go ahead and get into it. Um, so Young Pharaoh and Golden Beauty. Uh, were a couple and they have um, I guess they have children together I don't know a whole lot about them you'll find it out as I'm talking I don't know a whole lot about them personally um, because I was sent the video I did watch the video of young, uh, Golden Beauty in her car uh, very upset um, she was almost like hysterical uh, behind the fact that uh, they had a situation at the home uh, where she uh, was making allegations of being abused by young Pharaoh um police were called and it went from there um people just want to know what's going on like what's the situation like is it has this man lost his way is this something that he normally does i probably got a total of 15 to 25 questions on this we're going to narrow it down this reading will not be long we just want to get a sense of who he is is this is he who he says he really is i did watch a video of him speaking so i can get a sense of who he was and really, I can't even tell you everything that he said in it, but I can understand why people would be engaged with his content because of the way he his energy is, the way he comes across. He does have the ability to pull people in to some degree. Not everybody is with his message, but he does have a lot of people who do support him and what he does and what he says. But now people are concerned. So let's go ahead and get into the energy around Young Pharaoh, Golden Beauty, and the situation that happened a couple of days ago between them where the police were, you know, they were called. <clears throat> I'm going to stick to his actual uh, name, Young Pharaoh, since that holds just as much power. So let's go ahead and get into just some general energy around Young Pharaoh's spirit uh, and who he is as a person. Like, what is his energy? Who are, who are we seeing? Who's the man in front of us on social media, the artist that is uh, speaking to the masses that people are really kind of like concerned about? He has problems with women, guys. <clears throat> he has a big issue with women. But let's just kind of start at the positive. <clears throat> so if somebody says, does is he a true believer in what he speaks? Is he really a true believer of what he speaks? I definitely feel like this, this is someone who has studied in some capacity, have learned. He's a, took, taken the time to learn a lot of lessons around life. He is the hierophant in his energy, which talks about traditions, organizations, education, teachings, values, guidance, blessings. So I definitely feel that like he's definitely someone 
that has taken the time. You see this person who's a scholar that's taken the time to really build a foundation around himself. He's a very charismatic person. He has King Knight of Cups in his energy. Very charismatic person. He's easily likable. People, he can, I can see why people are following him, right? Um, <clears throat> he does have Page of Pentacles energy here. That Page of Pentacles is, is what? That he, even with all of that, he is, still has a side to him that just like Golden Beauty was saying, you really don't know him. And I've been protecting him. This is a person who can be what? Negligent. He can be negligent in his in, in his energy. He also has this uh, the two of swords in his energy as well. And this is about a person who has some unresolved issues. So I think for young Pharaoh, and again, I don't know him. Some of the things that he's gone through in his life from even being younger has pushed pushed him to get to get to more into get more into the conscious side of himself but even with that being said there's still things in his life from being little and as he was growing up that he still carries with him in terms of unresolved issues when i said in the beginning that he has he has issues with women it's here and this is talking about where he can treat people poorly this talks about poor uh undisciplined behavior domination energy chaotic energy chaos basically so when it comes to relationship with relationships with women he can definitely have chaotic moments or have moments where it's it's like a firestorm a thunderstorm of energy um so this is kind of what it is at the beginning of his reading so charismatic person has really kind of, you know, educated himself, self-education, uh, connected through other people, educating himself, uh, values and understanding. I'm going to leave this to the end. I'm going to try to remember the Hierophant energy towards the end to kind of tell you guys a little something about the end result of him. But let's go ahead, uh, do the final result of what he's going to kind of evolve into. So let's go ahead and get into the actual question. So I just wanted to kind of get a general energy of who he was or who he is as a person. So I do believe just like with anybody that's in some type of um, religion or faith or anything, a lot of times we do learn and we do grow and we educate, whether it's through self-taught education or through education through some, by someone else. I definitely feel that he's kind of like, you know, listened and learned a lot along the way. But that doesn't take away from the fact that he still has a lot of unresolved issues that he hasn't addressed yet that he needs to address because it is something that plagues his life even today. All right. So <clears throat> the first one is... Um, so the first question is, why did he and Golden have this issue? So give me the energy around, ooh, conflict. Ooh, they have the lover's card flying out. They have the, the tower card flying out. That is not good. Why did young Pharaoh and Golden Beauty have this issue? Let me say this, guys. And I don't know young Pharaoh. I'm only reading the energy. I'm pulling on the messages of this reading. This has been going on. They have conflict, tower moments, isolation, and strategic moves. I do feel like this man is a type of person. He wants to dominate somebody. Almost like he doesn't want to see this woman progress forward. Because even in the video, she was saying she was trying to do her clinicals. And anytime somebody's making a fuss and telling you to come get the kids because they don't want to deal with the whining or the complaining, and you're in the middle of trying to do clinicals, that's a person that's trying to push you back from progressing forward. And it's here in this energy here, right? Almost like a person who wants to see you win with limitations, right? See you win based on what they give you. So they have in their energy conflict, the disharmony, there's jealousy, there's separation, there's they have a on and off relationship so as tumultuous as that relationship as it got in the car for her i can see her eventually going back and dealing with this man in some capacity like it's not over between them they have tower moments on a regular basis tower moments meaning a foundational shift a downfall broken pride their argument is over control over jealousy confusion domination and third-party situations, right? 
this talks about another person being in the equation that's creating what division division right so with that three of cups that talks about what uh you know um isolation that talks about you know um they're uh, like they're not the relationship is not healed they're not cohesive and also to that seven of swords is saying he intentionally went out of his way to throw a monkey wrench in her plan so that she can do her clinicals for school so it feels like a, a, a relationship that has a lot of toxic energy in it uh, a love hate situation a person who's like trying to dominate you because i can't only imagine just imagine for a second you're in school doing clinicals guys clinicals when you're doing clinicals you're literally right there and this person is saying come get the kids come get the kids because they, they the baby crying too much that that would that would make a person feel like you're not trying to let me do what I need to do. So just imagine that turned into a towel moment. So I don't feel that she's innocent as well because it feels like once they broke out into a big fight about him doing that, about him trying to manipulate the energy so he can she can come back. She went there with an attitude. She went there upset. She went there frustrated. And I can understand that too, right? I'm I'm trying to go to school. I'm trying to do what I got to do, but it's a problem. So this, there's a mixture of things going on here, guys. A mixture of things going on. But young Pharaoh gives me the energy of someone who is controlling and possessive. And she gives me the energy of someone who has some jealousy there. And she keeps going back into the situation, even though she knows it's a toxic, toxic situation. All right? But it's been going on. It didn't happen in a vacuum. They've always had issues. This is the first time she decided to call. And maybe not even the first time because they have constant tower moments but to videotape it and put it on camera, right? So that's what it talks about. <clears throat> so did he actually, did he physically hit her or push her or shove her? Give me the energy around young Pharaoh because we didn't see all that on tape. So allegedly he did this. Did he actually, get, did he physically get, did he get physical with her? And this is her doing her clinicals. Did he get physical with her? He's the dominating force. And he there is some energy around him getting physical. Remember, again, six of pentacles energy. Desire to what? Dominate. To have power. Acting ugly. Right? Uh, this is a past tensions running high. Right? Um, him dominating and asserting himself in the situation. He does have the musician and the energy as well. And this again is talking about a person who was manipulating the situation, being deceitful, and then try to act like something else happened that it didn't happen, right? And then when the police came trying to make it seem like there was some something else happening. So it does show that there was some um something negative happening. Again, did he physically touch her? Did he touch the baby? Was he did the baby get hit? Oh, <laughs> High priestess energy in reverse. So the baby did in in the midst of all of this happening. Um, this talks about the baby. There was some bad behavior happening here. And even in the six of cups energy that talks about, right? That talks about more. Ugh, this talks about her. She, she, she said something about she was in the home and then she was out the home. She was trying to get her things. This is that energy. Her trying to get her things and trying to gain independence, right? But then he was making it hard for her. So almost like, you know, like trying to control her situation. So it definitely feels like it was physical. Let me ask this question. Did, did Golden get physical with him? Did she get physical with young Pharaoh? Give me the energy on Golden Beauty. Did she actually get physical with him that day? Ooh. She has the nine of pentacles in her energy. So let me just say this. Remember, I said in the beginning that she's not innocent either. Not that she deserved to get pushed to shove, but she went there ready to battle it out with him too, right? She went there upset, ready to go at him. She has nine of pentacles in her energy. And that talks about a person that, you know, if you're upset, almost you got to take a step outside of yourself and say, you know what? Let, I know who I'm dealing with. I know how this man could be. Let me just calm down. Let me get to a plan B. Remember we talked about plan A, plan B. Let me get the kids. Let me see if I can get someone else to pick up the kids. Let me see if I can work it out strategically so that I can get the kids back from him. 
and go do my clinicals. But she went there ready to have a, have an issue. Uh, she is the Knight of Swords in her energy as well in reverse. And that Knight of Swords says they both can get unpredictable with each other. All right. Now, he is the person who, you know, he is also an aggressor. But I'm not going to sit here and just say she's just completely innocent. The Six of Wands is in the energy as well. And then that Six of Wands talks about, right, uh, she feels like he was being disloyal. and He's being treacherous. She does feel like young Pharaoh is not who he is. Remember, she said that. I don't know who you are. You're somebody different, right? And so what that means is he's even treating her differently, right? The 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 bond and the connection that they have, she's even seeing it as, okay, now you you want some other stuff. You treated me bad, right? Give me the energy around this woman who was in the house, the supposed nanny, taking care of the kids. And she said she didn't want this woman around the kids. What's the energy between young Pharaoh and this woman? And, the, and this is something about the cameraman as the boyfriend. Give me the energy around young Pharaoh and this nanny, this, this woman who was there. What's the energy between them? Mm -hmm. uh, what's going on here? What's explain this? Is this some sexual stuff? What's going on here? Is something going on with this woman? Because there's something fishy business going on with this woman, right? So this is where the jealousy thing might have come in at. But this woman is coming through as someone who is connected to young Pharaoh in an intimate way. Now, why the boyfriend there, if he's dealing with her, some weird hanky-panky stuff going on. The four of wands is in here too. And this talks about conflict energy. Um, young Pharaoh looks like he kind of get himself mixed up with the wrong type of people. He has seven of pentacles in his energy as well, right? So I can see why there would be a concern because it's like, why is this woman in your house babysitting your kids? And why do y'all have the lover's card together, which talks about there's some sexual energy there. And why is she allowed to be in your baby's mother's business? Why are you putting her in y'all's business to have more conflict? What's going on with the boyfriend? They said the cameraman is the boyfriend? I mean, what the hell is this? Some weird energy going on here. So the nanny white lady, it feels like some stuff, some fishy business going on here. White guy's there. He seems like he's a nice enough guy, right? And I don't know if he totally knows what's going on 100% either, right? Because it feels like if he found out something, he would be shocked. The Six of Cups is here too. And that talks about like literally some information coming out. Six of Cups keeps coming back like some information is coming out. Some more information, but it feels like he and this nanny woman, there's something there. All right, <clears throat> let's go ahead. What is making young Pharaoh unravel? People seem to think that he's been unraveling, that he doesn't, he's not looking out for the community. What is making young Pharaoh unravel? Conflict. Death card is in reverse. Six of Cups is back again for him. He's at a crossroads. Uh, somebody had mentioned, is he doing any type of substance abuse? And it's here. So he may be also um, on some type of, he might be doing something on the business doing. All right. And this is uh, talking about indulgence. All right. So that may have something to do with it. The death card is also here as well. And this is somebody who has a dependency issue. So that still comes off as maybe somebody having some type of dependency uh there's there's some like he's not who he he needs he needs to get balanced right he's also super flashy it talks about somebody who's like all about almost like even though he is in the conscious community there's energy around him liking to be flashy or liking to ha like like he he's on some like <clears throat> I'm I'm a, I'm I'm a public figure I'm a celebrity I I'm doing big things type energy that's here. So it's almost like his mindset is not in the right way. But I would be interested to know if he's actually, he got dependency and indulgence in his energy. So that can suggest something that he shouldn't be doing, <clears throat> which is causing a conflict. So, whew, okay, that's what it talks about. Um, Let's ask the energy around here. Yeah, it's something weird with that nanny and this man. Almost like some weird energy going on. I'm not about to get into all of that, guys. But like when Golden was saying, I don't know you. This is what she meant. Like, who are you? 
Why are you with these people? There's some weirdness going on there. That's for sure. That woman, he definitely has something intimate. There's, let's say definitely, potentially have something intimately going on with that woman. And the fact that, and then they also had in their energy too, like he's being taken advantage of to some extent, or like he's allowing himself to get into some funny stuff. But let's go ahead and do the nanny and the man put root work on young Pharaoh. Mm -mm. No, he's just enjoying himself himself with them. It's just some weird stuff going on, but he's he's just literally enjoying himself. This talks about, you know, getting connected and enjoying yourself and having, you know, fun and all that stuff. Nine of Swords is saying like, no, nope, it's just, this is like, he's just, he feels like he's on some other stuff. It's like he's taking a different mindset. All right. Um, <clears throat> so let's see, let's see. Does he have a history of violence with women? Does he have a history of violence with women? Give me the energy around young Pharaoh. Does he have a history of violence with women? It showed that the, it showed that at the beginning of his reading, he definitely likes to dominate, and there's definitely issues. So he definitely has an energy around you know um, where he will get into a situation, not trust women, feel insecure in the relationship, dishonor them, deprive them. He's got controlling energy here, right? Um, again, reclaim power. It's like a power with women. Women are his weakness, though. He's got a weakness with women, but it also talks about having power over women, okay? But it feels like he's done this before with other women. Um, and women that are pretty strong in their mindset, all right? Um, will he get arrested for the attack on Golden? Give me the energy around young Pharaoh. Will he get arrested or get in trouble for the attack that happened on um on golden on golden oops will he get in trouble i don't know guys i just feel like he you know it, it may be some legal stuff but i feel like she's gonna really they back they have back together energy here in their future position right or reconnection energy even if they don't get back together fully that nine of cups is in reverse that talks about you made a mistake, I made a mistake, you like trying to resolve it. They have eight of pentacles in the energy as well. Like again, um, that talks about a regeneration energy, like them coming back together. They have the lovers card back together again. So even with all that drama that just broke out, uh, I would not be surprised at some point if they try to reconnect back together. Uh, it, it's crazy, but it's true. Um, again, will it, that situation be legal, go legal for them, for him? Did she call a lady a cracker? Did she, did Golden call a lady a cracker? <laughs> yep. So she, she's, yep. Right. Temper. Remember she had a temper. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So she didn't go there and was just calm. Like, hi, you know what? I'm so sorry. Let me get my kids. I, I yeah. Let me go find if, if see if sister so-and-so can do it. No, she was, she came there with it. So not that she deserved to get pushed or hit, but she also came into the energy with, uh, with, uh, with temper. Um, <clears throat> okay. Okay. I just feel like they have a chance to rebuild. I'm going to go back to that question. He, they'll have a chance to rebuild. Will she really get arrested? I do feel something legally. because You can hear something legally about it. Right? But that Nine of Pentacles is talking about. I think they're going to wiggle their way out of it. And that's what it looks like to me. So, but they'll have another incident, guys. This talks about they have domestic violence. I mean, DV. DV situations. Whether it's verbal. Uh, it happens. It happens. All right. So we can do a second video on young Pharaoh in terms of who he is as a person in the community. Is he really sincere about what he's talking? It does show that he has, you know, done a lot of, you know, studying or listening or following other people who have given him a lot of information that he's now sharing. But we can do a second video on young Pharaoh. Let's see like who he is from the black community perspective. Because I definitely feel like, you know, he's going to go through a tough time until he gets, comes to a crossroads. That emperor energy talks about unstable. 
um, that talks about unsettling energy. So I definitely feel like for young Pharaoh, um, that, you know, his, his, he's off track and he's off track because his anger is not in check. Uh, he feels like he's, uh, he's made a turn in terms of his, the way of being and thinking he's kind of gotten away from his, his being in alignment with his, the things that he even, the values that he set for himself. We can do a second reading, but this one is more about the relationship in a situation that happened with Golden. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day. Stay blessed. Take care. Bye. And the one thing I want to mention before I go, I know this video is at 25 minutes. I was very uh, shocked and uh, surprised to see so many people who, especially men, who uh, got on that video and talked about what did she do? And then they talked about um, if he, this man is a trained fighter, I guess they were trying to say, and then this man would have knocked you out. You should have had more bumps and scratches and bruises on you. They had a lot of men, and it's sad because it's even men that's older men, 50s year, 50 plus years old, 60 years old, basically, sitting here making excuses for some violent situation. And I do see where she went into the energy with temper, with a temper, but that does not justify that somebody puts their hands on her. And I definitely feel like this is why we as a community can't come together because, you know, of how we see things so differently. Women, we see the violence. Men, they try to find an excuse for it sometimes. And I'm not saying it's all men, but it's really shocking to see how many men were on there trying to say, like, what, like, what you know, what, like, what did she make him do? And it was really shocking and sad. Or, you know, if you, you know, if he would have really done you something, we would have seen the results of it. Or did he really hit that bait? You know, it just, it was shocking to see how many men tried to downplay the violence that happened. Definitely was violent. Definitely put his hands on her. Definitely feels like the baby was hit in the process. I definitely feel like she went into it with temp her temper being raised because there's energy around him trying to throw her off her track. Right. Again, you're in clinicals. That's important to people. Anybody that's been in school, go to college, you know what clinicals are. You know, you're really right there at the edge. Right. And so this is uh, the reading on them in terms of what happened that day um, and what's been kind of going on. We can always come back and do a full reading on him as a leader and or him as a person seen in the black community. And with his, you know, and all, just like we did for the black men, black, uh, what black men care about video. Take care, stay blessed. And, um, I'm wishing Golden the best of luck. I hope she can get out of the situation and not go back. But it definitely feels like they have a bond that can pull them back together. Especially when you have little bitty kids like that. A lot of times people keep yo-yoing back together. Take care. Stay blessed. Bye-bye.